Okay, this is the central angle. Yes. Okay, so there is the circumferential angle. Yes. And remember, this central angle is twice of the circumferential angle, okay? Yes. So we have these lines and angles, triangles, and circles. Are you clear? Yes. yes. Now we'll move on to what we're going to learn. Okay, so for this second, coordinate. And but remember, first for this geometry, we have different types of geometry. Solid geometry. Okay, so plane, there's also solid geometry. Factor. Yes, and last but not least, factor geometry. And don't forget, black can only one side. Then plus algebra plus trigonal. But usually it will be the what is it? geometry here. Right? Yes. So for this we combine with this algebra and trigonometry, right? Yes. yes. Okay. But remember geometry of course most important is geometry, right? Yes. But yes. our usual method is like algebra, right? Yep. Yep. These two are our methods, right? Yes. Correct. Okay. So I can have these geometries. Of course. Yep. Okay, for these coordinates, we will have to draw something like this. And don't forget something, your origin. So, 3 and 5. Okay, for that point, what would you want to call it? We should call it A. Okay, it's okay. Okay, so for this A, how can we write this position, or also known as the location? Yes, so, could we write 5, 3 or 3, 5? Any answers? It will be 5, 3. Yes, because then we always write the x-axis first. After the x-axis, then it's the y-axis. So can we write it as something like... Like this. Okay, so like this, you also can. But usually we write it like this, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. But this way, sometimes we also can use. We'll learn this case in the future, okay? Yep, All right. now cannot. <laughs> but do you know what is this? It is... A vector. Yes, vector. Okay, so this is how we write it, right? Yes. What are the equals? Okay, well, for this, this is from O to A, am I right? Yes. Okay, you can, you can write, write it like this, this. Or... Yes? Alright, right. right. Like this, okay? So this is how we can write it, right? Yes. Correct. With these ways of writing, what can we actually have? What kinds of meanings are there? There are coordinates.
Okay, this is a matrix. Vector. Okay, and also the displacement. Yes. Okay, so we have these four rings, right? Yes. Okay, coordinates are just like this, right? Yes. Right. Well, matrix, it can be like... Like this? Yes. It can just be like, for example, this example. Yeah, just four numbers. It can just be four numbers. But it also can be the coefficients in the linear algebra equation. Yes. Correct. Okay, for example, these, right? It can just be like this, right? Yes. And this is a one, two, right. three, four. One, two, three, four. It's okay. a linear algebra. Yes. And this vector is just like this, right? Yes. And this place one, okay, can be like this. We can call this B, right? Yes. Yep. So we have O, A, and B, correct? O, A, B. Yes. So that means we also can write. Wait. If you say A, B, it will be like this, right? Yes. Yes, A, B. We follow this direction, right? Yes. So actually, this is a factor. Vector. Okay, so we have two types. We have the displacement vector and we also have the position vector. Yes. yes. What kind of vector is this? The okay, position vectors, they, well, they start from the origin. Yes. That means these are all. Yes. And this AB is the displacement vector, not a position vector. It's a displacement because it don't have an O. You know? Wait, it's a displacement vector. It's this, it's this one. Yes. And we 
remember here rise in y run in x? Yes, it's a rise and it's a run. Right? Like this, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so we'll be moving on to point three. We will be talking about the equations of straight lines. Okay, so can we have a graph first? Yes, we could. Then 
That means the X and the Y is actually Okay, so like this, we have this part, which our gradient is half. Yeah. So this times, and then this times. Okay. Yes.
You see, how can, oh. we, how can we make this a zero? Because that, in this case, y is a zero. How can we make it a zero? Of course, it's very obvious that we are negative seven. Yeah. Like this. Mm -hmm. Right? Correct. So that means here, this will be a negative seven. Yes. Right? Yes. Yep. Now we have these two. Thank you. 